Welcome to another video tutorial. Often you have seen single star, double star or triple star or p-values above the graphs and table but you don't know what is their real meaning. Still you are confused about whether data is significantly different or not. If so, this video is for you. By the way, the end of this video you will be able to recognize only by looking at the p-values and would be easy for you to interpret the significance value. Let's get started. So now let's start with this statistical significance and we know that statistical significance is measured in terms of p-value. So what we need to know, we need to understand the p-value. So if p-value is less than, if p-value is less than 0.05, so it would be significant. So we should must know that if p value is less than 0 0.05, then it should be significant. Often people mix that they don't recognize whether what is the sign of less than or greater than. So because we consider right hand as a big hand, so the right hand, if we do like this, so it would be the greater than sign and left hand would be the less than sign. So if, if we do like this, so it would be less than sign so if p value is less than 0 0.05 so the data would be significant so now let's try to understand what are those values which are less than 0 0.05 it means if it is 0 0.04 or if it is 0 0.03 similarly if it is 0 0.02 similarly it's 0 0.0 if all of these values are mentioned in the p-value then the data would be significant but if you see now after the decimal we have one zero so if we place two zero then of course it would be even more significant so actually we have three levels of significance sometime if the p-value is less than 0 0.05 then we place single star okay but sometime if the value is even more or less like less than 0 0.01 then we place double star and if the p value is less than 0 0.001 then we place triple star so this can be called as significant this can be called as highly significant and this can be called as highly highly significant so if we try to write this in terms of 10 raised to power so we you can see if we write like this 0 0.05 in place of decimal we will place this so it would be 5 into 10 raised power 1 2 minus 2 so this would be 1 raised into 10 raised power minus 2 and this would be 1 into 10 raised power minus 3 so in simple word if the p value is in minus so it is a good sign to identify that this data is significant. Now let's see some example and check if the data is significant. So here is example one. So here you can see we have actually different treatments. And if we try to look at this, here we have actually the standard error, but we cannot identify there is no p value. It means neither there are star nor there is any mentioned p-value because if there is no significance we cannot identify that this data is significant or not so in this example we cannot identify because the significance is not given so now let's try to see next example so in this example you can see we have within these two group o0 hp and 0 if you see they are comparing this two and p value is less than 0 0.05 it means this these two are significantly different but if you see this and this two it mean ns mean non-significant it means here the p value is greater than 0 0.05 and here when they are comparing these two you can see here is also p value less than 0 0.05 it means the data is also significantly different between these two so now let's try to see some more complex examples here you can see where the p-value is 0 0.30 you can see I already told if the value is less than 0 0.05 
but here you can see it is greater than this so it means this these two wild type and this mutant type is actually not significantly different so these are not significantly different and here if we see p value is 0.47 it is greater than this so this is also not significantly different and here you can see p value is 0.4 this is also not significantly different if you see after the decimal there is no zero so it means this value is greater than this so it means these all three are not significant but if you see this value like 5.66 into 10 raised power minus 3 so you can see the minus 3 mean it must have at least 3 zero 5.00 0, 0. so it means this is less than 0 0.05 so it means this data is significantly different of number of grains per spike in wild type and mutant type is significantly different here is also the value is in minus so it means the data would be significant here is data you can see the p value is in minus six it is highly highly significant so sometimes you would even see the p value is even sometime in minus up to 300 so it means it is highly highly significant so whenever you see the values in minus greater than minus two so it means this is significant so now let's try to see another example here you can see when they are comparing this to the p value is if we try to write it in into 10 raised power scientific notation so it would be one two three so it would be 7.5 into 10 raised power minus three so it means this is greater than minus two it means they are significant here double star mean this is less than 0.1 so this is also significant but here the both of these are not significant or non-significant in the next example we, we can see here is one table if you see when we are comparing the variable of country a so it is showing double star here is double star here is double star it means here p value is less than 0 0.01 here is single star it mean here is 0 0.05 less than 0 0.05 so now you can easily identify with the help of star so here you can see here we have triple star it mean here the value is p value is less than 0 0.01 so can you identify among all of these so in the next example we can see another p value here you can see p value is less than 0 0.01 see these all values are less than 0 0.05 because here you can see after the decimal we have here only one zero but here they have all three values it means they are significantly different this is also significantly different significantly different all of these are significantly different but if we try to look at this one you can see this is 0 0.072 so if we compare you can see this here should be zero then five in place of five this is seven so it means this value is not non-significant so that's it hopefully uh, with the end of this video you will be able to recognize your data by yourself whether it is significant or not with the help of p-value